<laughs> yeah, we could all use a little more money. Yeah. Time to talk about those New Year's resolutions. Being better with money is a big one. Yep. And to help us out, welcome back the money maven, Patrice Washington. Hey! hey. All right, Thank Patrice, you. you are going to help out our audience today, right? Let's hope so. I think you are. Uh, G, who are we with? Well, we're, we're with Anna Dickey, as you guys all met earlier. Oh, yes. Yes. She, she's she really wants a seat at yeah, the desk. She's yes. from Little Village. So uh, tell us what your question is. Okay, so I'm a mom of three toddlers. So we're a family of five, and it's always hard to save. So budgeting, what's your best take on still having some money left over when we save? Mm. Have some savings left over? Because it's so hard to budget for a family of five. Yeah. You know so. what? I, that's a great question. And I think whether you're a family of five or a household of one. Budgeting is yeah. just hard for a lot of people, right? But in, for your question, the real thing is, are you making savings a priority? See, Nothing. you said left over. Yeah. And a lot of us think after I pay my bill yeah. and I make sure everything else is done, then I'm going to save what I have yeah. left over. If you approach way. it that way, you'll never have anything left it's over. It's so hard. Right? It's should so you hard. treat savings as a bill? Like that is a bill I, that should be paid every absolutely. month? Absolutely. We've all heard of paying yourself first, right? Mm -hmm. So when you look at your budget, the first line item should be savings. Yeah. Now, you mm -hmm. might have to adjust it. Sometimes yeah. we try to save too much. Mm -hmm. That There's a such thing as that. Ooh. You're like, oh, I'm going to save $500 this month and then you get frustrated when you keep yeah. having to transfer that back out exactly. mm -hmm. so do something realistic mm -hmm. create a realistic budget Good with idea. real numbers but stick savings at the top and focus okay. on making sure you do that first and then mm -hmm. other things are the leftover right. and some okay. of those things can be adjusted and may I just add on to that I don't have a degree in finance or anything <laughs> uh, however once you start doing that and you mm -hmm. start off with a small you will figure out how to live with that number you will. it doesn't mm -hmm. seem like it initially mm -hmm. but you will in meantime you're staying Stacking something that in a rainy day well, or in a pinch hoping, you'll have. Because they're three under four years yeah. old. So it's what? like everything goes towards either rent, utilities, or diapers right now. Because only one is fully potty trained. Yeah. So yeah. it's always going towards the kids or rent. So it's hard to save. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's make it a priority, though. It's, a, it's really a mindset How that four-year-old start working on training the other two? <laughs> <laughs> I, she's <laughs> working on her sister. Right yeah. Now. Tell her to get busy. Earn her keep. All right. Thanks, Thank Anna. Thank you. Okay, this is Marie Watson. She is from the South Side. You want to stand up? There we go. What's your question? Hi, Patrice. I'd like to know, is it a good idea to close a department store account after you paid it off or not? That's a great question as well. And I love the name Marie. That's my mom's name. Aww. Shout out to Marie. <laughs> um, but absolutely, you can definitely close the account. But what you need to know is that what you do is cut off the credit utilization. So that means how much money you owe overall versus how much uh, credit you have extended to you. And sometimes that does create a ding. But if you don't need to use your credit for anything immediately, like you're not trying to buy a house or a car or make a big purchase in the next 30 days, don't worry about it because time heals all things. Things. The most important thing is that you get rid of get rid of that department store credit card because if you have a flat tire, you can't use that. It's not worth it to you. And if it's going to be tempting to use it again, I'd rather you close it off and just start to put that money towards savings. All right. All right. Good Thank questions. You. Good <laughs> questions, audience. Okay. okay. We have a couple of um, questions that have come into us, and this one is: I am recently engaged and getting married soon. Should my soon-to-be husband and I have a joint or separate bank accounts? Oh. I saw some people go. Oh, mm. I know, right? Depends <laughs> if they got a lot of money and you got a little. Then it's no. a joint. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that's one way to do it. No. First of all, Check it's one, a personal two. preference because you really have to determine what works for you in your relationship. Okay. I personally like the his, hers, and ours setup. Okay. So the ours account is where we pool all the money and that's how we take care of the household bills. That's how we take care of any savings goals that we have as a family, family vacations or buying a sure. home or whatever. And then you have your fun money, predetermined money that you set aside in the his account and the hers account. That's money that you don't have to answer to anyone for. Once that money goes over there, if I want to have a spa day, if he wants to go smoke cigars, whatever it is, you don't have to answer for that. But the most important thing out of all of this, because you know they say money is why relationships break sure, up sure. and all that. It's communication about money. So no matter whether you choose to have a joint account or a separate account, you have to build trust and talk about it and know what the, the boundaries and are. And this is even if they're engaged, not married yet. It's okay to start that. 
I prefer Mary. Okay. All right. <laughs> For more information about Patrice Washington, please go to WindyCityLive.com. You can also pick up a copy of Patrice's book. Here it is, Real Money Answers for Every Woman.